Hello everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL, and today we're actually gonna be moving this Cecropia tree. Now this is actually a beautiful Cecropia tree that I got from Leaf in West Palm Beach. And if you don't know what Cecropia is, it's actually a very tropical fruit tree that is found a lot in the Amazonian rainforests. Now this fruit tree actually makes a fruit that is like a long gummy worm that actually tastes very good. It's very sweet, has a very tropical taste to it. And in Florida, South Florida, we're actually very lucky to be able to grow this tropical fruit tree. Now it does grow very fast in Florida given the right amount of sunlight and water. Now you guys are probably wondering, Harley, why are you moving this fruit tree? You know, it has such a great spot here at your farm in Punta Gorda. The reason is, is because actually the place I planted it during the rainy season gets very wet the soil actually gets what you would consider to be wet feet and I'm trying to fix that overall in this area but it might take me a few years because you know I don't really have the right the proper tools and machines and the rainy season is just about you know a month a month and a half away and honestly I don't think that this tree will survive here just because my buddy Nick told me that you know Cecropia especially in this area don't do very well when they get wet feet you know my buddy Nick told me that he actually lost a tree on Pine Island during rainy season and actually his cecropia tree died because it got too wet the cecropia was in too much of wet feet for too long and i really like this tree it's actually flowering right now but basically the plan is is that we're going to remove it from here and we're going to bring it to my house in bradenton florida which is only about 45 minutes north of here so we're going a little bit more north but as you know bradenton is still borderline 9b 10a uh, planting zone so i believe cecropia will be able to grow there and we're going to be planting it in an area where it's going to have a microclimate so yeah everyone so i want to give you a better look on the cecropia flowers actually now we're gonna move it during this stage you know while it has flowers so this right here are actually the flower buds of the cecropia so it has these two that are sticking out and actually has two more right here and this right here is actually pushing out a new leaf this is actually a new leaf that grew out last time and what is really surprising about cecropia is it grows so well and it actually flowers even in the drought something about my farm too is i don't have a irrigation set up here so none of my plants are actually being watered you know, unless I hand water it myself or they're watered by the rain. So this tree actually does very well here in the drought. But you know, my fear is during the rainy season that, you know, this place is gonna be semi-flooded. So I don't really wanna lose my cecropia, so I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I'm gonna move it to my house in Bradenton. So overall, this cecropia, I believe at my, at my house, I'll be able to keep it much more looked after. And also I'll be able to air layer in the future and bring back a cecropia here to my farm. So let's get to transplanting it, you know, and let's hope that everything comes out safe when I transplant the cecropia to my house because my friend Leaf told me that these cecropias can be very finicky when you move them. The root ball is very sensitive. They don't like being moved or touched at all. So what we're doing is kind of risky. So, you know, let's hope that the cecropia makes it safe. Let's get started. So as you see, we now got the cecropia, and as you see, the flowers on there. We actually cut it out really well, and I'm really glad how it turned out. As you see, there it is in the pot, and I actually nearly got it perfect fit all around. So you know, it looks like it's gonna transfer well. Okay, everyone, so here we are at the house. I made it home. The drive was just under an hour. So I actually already dug out the hole where I'm actually gonna plant the cecropia. As you see, it's kind of in this area. It's actually near the abus that I recently just planted. And believe it or not, the abus are actually getting sunburned a little bit. So this actually will be good because the cecropia can actually grow very fast and can actually provide some shade for them. But anyways, as you see right here is the cecropia. I'm really happy because transplanting it and putting it in the pot and everything and bringing it here, it shows very little signs of stress. I see a little bit of yellowing in the leaves, but that's normal whenever you transplant something but overall you know i'm really looking forward to this because i actually picked a spot that's different from the spot i had in mind this plot actually receives much more sun and i recently and my friend nick also recently sent me a photo of his cecropia in his yard and how he maintains it and it actually looks really good so i'm really looking forward to kind of printing this one you know i'll be air layering it heavily 
to get a lot of cecropias. So I'm really looking forward to actually bringing this one and planting this one here. So as you see, here is a hole that I had dug out. And as you see, it's pretty, pretty good size hole. Like I said, it's near the Berlinia near a bunch of things. So I think it'll look really good here. Let's get planting it. So what I'm trying to do is actually reposition the cecropia to a place where I like it. I think right there looks good. I just want to see how it will look. Turn it just a little more. All right, everyone. So the sun is setting and we just finished planting the cecropia. I just gave it water and overall I'm just really excited for the growth and development here now at my house in Bradenton, Florida. So thank you guys for watching overall and I'll make sure to do update videos on the cecropia now that we'll be taking care of it here and I can't wait to do the first air layer to bring it to my farm. So thank you guys for watching this video so much. I hope you have a great day and bye bye now.